app functions. I'm going to start on the top left corner here. If you press the camera once, it will change from video to camera. If you press it back, go back to video. Uh, if you want to change the camera settings for video, 1080p or 4K, you press the equalizer on the left top here. You change from 1080p, 30fps, and the bitrate also, you press back. And down you have the stabilizer. If you press stabilizer once, your unit will go into manual mode. And then press it back, it will go back to stabilizer mode. Now on the right, there's the hexagon. You press the hexagon. It will open up the settings for Gladius. Here you press system. System, you have you play sound, play vibrate, show delete alert, show 3D indicator, Bluetooth mode. And you know, get about the, about the device also, the version of the app. And your model number, you press back. Back again, now you go in ROV. In ROV, you can change your speed from 30 right up to 100. Okay, you scroll down. Here, you press calibrate, press it once. You have the system for uh, calibrating the accelerometer. If you press that, it will ask you to calibrate. So I'll press back, I'll do that in another video. Here you have the compass calibration also, I will do that in another video. Press back. Here you have your depth. Once you press this, it will, it will tell you that it will reset on your next dive. So it failed now. So I need to switch off the machine and do it again. Now you go down to board level calibration. Okay. So I'll calibrate this time out. This also I have to switch it back on. And then row IMU. It will give you the gyroscope, all the figures, X, Y, Z axis for the gyroscope, accelerometer and compass. Press back, back again, again, now in camera. In camera, you format device SD card. It is very, very important for you to know that once you format the device SD card, you lose everything. Plus, you might have to recalibrate your device again. So what I suggest and advise is that once you are finished with all the downloading all the videos is you remove it manually in the device home, home um, place now you have live turn off the front uh, now go in handle go in handle now when you press handle and control you can choose between USA and Japan mode USA and then you have the power linear curve you can choose your driving style it depends which one suits you better either the straight curve or the curved one All right you scroll down you see the keys keys will display what all the buttons are and what do they do press back and then you have help operation it will show you in detail what your keys do, what their functions are, press back, back, back. Okay, next on the app, on the top right corner, you have the uh, remotes battery level, then you have Gladys battery level, and if you press on the batteries, like mine is on 76 right now, so I press it, it'll show you different voltage, the current battery, and the battery remaining for each side, left and right of the Gladys unit. Okay, if you press it again, it should disappear. Now, uh, left corner, you have the disarm button. You press that once, slide it arm, arm gladius. You press it again, you disarm gladius. Now, on the bottom left, you have the gladius orientation. So, if I move the machine a bit, you will see it change. It will show you how your unit is in the water. Next to that, you have the depth in meters or in feet, I don't know your settings, you change in settings, you can choose between feet or meters. Down you have the lights, so to increase the lights, you press R1 on your remote, you can go right up to 100, and to decrease, you press L1, okay, at the bottom you have the temperature of the, of the unit, of the Gladius, right now it's out of the water, so it's 32.70 degrees Celsius. In the water will be different and you can choose between degrees celsius and degrees fahrenheit 
Now on your right bottom corner you have the recording. Now I'm on 4K 30 FPS, the settings. You can it will change 1080p, 30 FPS or 60 FPS, it all depends. And then you have the recording button. Which you press the recording button, it will record and then you stop. 